question 1.6, it says the charge, excuse me, entering a certain element uh, is shown in figure 1.28, which is the one below, and found the current at A, B, C at different uh, time. Okay, so this uh, looks a little intimidating, but it's actually not. Um, so first, okay, so we're giving the uh, charge over uh, time graph, and we know that dt, uh, dqt over dt gives us current, right, which is a uh, unit is a ampere. All right, so this is great because we're trying to find the current, and in this case, it would just be the uh, slope of the graph, right? And you can do the calculus way, which is uh, find the, the uh, so like we divide it into three sections, right? This is section one, uh, two, and three. And then we find the equations for each of these graphs in these three, uh, three sections, and then take the derivative, uh, which is like over here and find the current. But there's like an easier way if you're like in exam session, um, there's a shortcut. So now I'll just present you with a shortcut. It's that since this is a straight line, uh, we can just find the slope, which is uh, 30, rise over run, so 30 over 2, which is 15. And that is the slope, and which is going to give you ampere, because this is between 0 and 2. 1 milliseconds is between 1 and 2, right? Uh, hopefully uh, you, you guys know that. <laughs> so since 1 is between 1 and 2, and 15 is the answer from any point between 0 and 2. So one is, one is uh, one of the millions points within one of them. So it is uh, 15 ampere, right, for A. And for B, so we're trying to find the slope. The slope, the rise is zero. It's not changing, right? It's a, it's a constant uh, horizontal line. The change is zero. So which means, remember, the change, the change of Q over T, uh, T Q of T divided by T, which is a change, the slope is equal to current. Well, the change is zero. Therefore, the current it's also zero, right? Okay, and then the last section, which is uh, this one over here, uh, we say, okay, so again, rise over run, right? So negative 30, remember, so now it's going down, so it's negative 30 uh, over what? 12 minus eight, which is four, four points, right? And it's gonna give us negative 7.5 and uh, C, so the, we're finding the current, so it's the units A, A and A. Okay, and uh, hopefully this shortcut was helpful. Obviously you can uh, go through the calculus version, so I'll just do one example, I guess. Uh, so 30, so let's do like A. So it would just be 30 uh, over 2x, right? Because, uh, uh, chain. No, the y of 2 minus y of 1 over x of 2 minus x of 1, right? That gave us the slope, which is here. And uh, this is the equation of, of q of t, right? And then we, we take the dt on both sides, or sorry, this should be t, and then we take the dt, which is still 15, right? t, take the dt, I mean dt, boom, that cancels out, give us 15a. Okay, they still give us the same answers. It's just this way, it's a lot easier if you just use, since like every every time when a professor is giving you something like a straight line or, or horizontal line, like try not to use calculus uh, if you're under an exam pressure, right? Always like you have the shorter way of doing it, why not save the time and then spend that extra time on checking your work, right? And if you do have extra time, you can just use the calculus uh, way of doing it and then, and then to check your work. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.